morning, brothers and sisters. This is Chuck, Chuck's Off the Grid World. Uh, it's a couple days later since I did the video on installing the lithium batteries in my battery box. Uh, today, I got to do a little different project. I'm going to try to make an insulated box so that uh, the battery stays warmer. Uh, this particular battery doesn't have a low temperature shut off. And if it were to freeze and get in charged, it would damage the battery. So I'm off the grid. <laughs> so I'm going to use what I have. And all I have at this point is the old battery box. I mean, it should be pretty well insulated. It says double thickness. And uh, I'll install it inside there. I'll have to cut it down a little bit to make the battery fix fit. Then I'm going to reinstall it. <laughs> pretty close to the same place it is right now and put some straps on of some sort to tie it down uh, that's the project for today um, I also like to show you I have it my refrigerator I'm trying to run it off of electricity and right there I don't know if you can see that or not let me get it is what the wattage is that's actually it's pulling 200 and 25 watts and that seems to be consistent that it never seems to turn off on electricity now for running on propane it doesn't seem to take much propane to run it but uh um i thought maybe you know with this newer battery in here that i could run it all night on propane but i don't think that's going to happen uh, i think it's just there's just too much still too much pull 225 watts consistently is a lot of draw. If it would turn on and off, like your refrigerator does at home, well then it may not be a problem. But uh, I'd also like to say, in my last video, uh, for those that are old enough to remember the advertisement, I think it was a hair advertisement. This woman would get on, on the advertisement and say, don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Well, my hair was looking pretty good in that video, so today I'm wearing a hat. <laughs> because I am off the grid, okay? I'll, I'll prove it to you that I'm off the grid. I'll show you. I'll give you a 360 degrees, okay? okay. Do you see anyone else here? <laughs> Got my e-bikes down there. They're ready, getting ready to go. I'm going to take them out today, I think. But uh, I'll prove to you. I'm off the grid. <laughs> There's the plug that goes, comes out of here, plugs into the, the pole for electricity. Where is it? I do not see it. Maybe it's under there. Nope. Okay. So, there's Highway 50 over there. Pretty mountains there. So there's no one else here. I am off the grid. So, that creates a little bit of a problem. You know, I wanted to make this battery box out of plywood, but I have no plywood. <laughs> so I gotta do, I gotta use what I, can, what I can use. Thank you. Hello, brothers and sisters. I just wanna show you the refrigerator that I was talking about. That took so much power to power it. Uh, 225 watts it's a domatic i guess that's how it's pronounced uh it's a very common rv refrigerator is probably the most common uh my friend yes i do really have some friends but my friend has a i guess it's a i think it's a norway which is the second most popular brand his uses about half that power you know i'm just it concerns me that I can't run this refrigerator off my solar panels. I can in the daytime, it's sunny, but I can't at night, even though I have so much solar on the roof. And right now, let's look and see what we're pulling in. Okay, the battery's sitting at 13.1, which is great, and pulling in 18.9 amps, which is good. Uh, it's got a big smiley face, it likes that. <laughs> And so it, it's handling that 225 watts just fine. Uh, I don't really have anything else on in here except for maybe some lights and such. But uh, 
let's put a little more pull on it, a little more draw. Let's let's turn on my coffee pot, my little Mr. Coffee coffee pot. I think, I think it pulls about 800 watts. Okay, just, just turned it on. Now let's see what the controller is saying here. All right, it's starting to make this go down a little bit in voltage. Um, still sitting at 12.9, which is fine. Still pulling in about 19 amps. Um, so it's still doing okay. The uh, solar panels are producing 15.1 volts. And so it'll handle it'll handle the refrigerator and the coffee pot at the same time providing it sunny out and not trying to do it at night uh, the thing about the coffee pot is it'll run in about 15 minutes and then it'll shut down and it'll come back on maybe every five minutes to keep the, the coffee heated but this refrigerator from what I can tell, it runs forever. It just runs all the time. 225 watts, which is not it's not right. It's not good. Now on on propane, it does extremely well. I, I I don't know how much it uses, but it doesn't seem like it uses any propane at all. And it heat it works extremely well. I'm really happy with it. I think if I had to replace it. Because of the cost, these things these things are expensive. A uh, um, couple thousand dollars, at least. I can buy a refrigerator at Home Depot that'll fit this position. That's real low wattage, maybe only 65, 85 watts or something like that, and it turns on and off. And I'm probably replaced with that because I can I can run it off of solar. All right, thank you. Hello, brothers and sisters. It's about five to 10 minutes later. I thought I'd just give you a little tip. There's a bird, hummingbird. Let's see how close we can get to him or her. Uh, took off, okay. Um, this refrigerator is still pulling 226 watts. Uh, a previous RV I had I had a Newmar, and it was in it was in really bad shape. It uh, it needed everything. I ended up replacing the furnace in it, um, the uh, generator, and uh, lots of other minor stuff. But I bought it really cheap. It served purpose really well. It was, it was a gas engine. It was a 460. I think it was a. I'm trying to think what year it was. It was a 96 or something like that. But it had tandem axles on the back, which means instead of having one wheel here, it had an additional wheel right there, and it was big. It was bigger than this thing as far as. But anyway, that refrigerator was the same exact refrigerator. I had problems with it. This is just a little tip. What it ended up doing, what what the refrigerator was doing, it would run off electricity, but it wouldn't run off of propane. And so whenever I would take it out, we'd have to, I bought a little 900 watt generator, portable generator, just to run the refrigerator. So what I ended up having to do is right underneath this plastic housing right there, there's a circuit board. And I'm I'm pretty sure it's the same exact circuit board. Replaced it, cost, um, I think, about $90. So in today's economy, that probably got 6000 bucks. But uh, it replaced it, worked like a champ. And so it, it would run off of propane and or electricity. They switch over automatically. If there's no electricity, it'll go to propane. If there's, if there's electricity, it'll go to electricity. Uh, See, this right here is plugged into my charge controller, so it's getting 110 volts. Otherwise, it plugs into there, so when you turn the shore, shore power on or your generator, it turns the 110 volts on to there. 
Well, then the, the refrigerator senses that and it turns it from propane to electricity automatically. Or you can manually change that. But here's what I'm working on right now. This is my battery box. I cut the top of it off. I can't use it in this full height because there's not enough room. It's pretty tight up the top of the battery. But I'm gonna put the battery into this. Probably, I can't put these on the bottom because of the height issue and make the battery set too high. So I'm just gonna put it right smack down on the, on the cardboard, which is dual thickness. It should give some insulation and then put this on top of it like that and then uh, make a lid for it somehow. But uh, that's the plan. Was well, a good plan? I don't know, but uh, um, I think it will work. I'll just then I'll put some straps of some sort to tie it down. Okay, thank you. Hello, brother and sister. Here's where we're at. Uh, I made a battery box out of the original box. Got the uh, styrofoam wedged in there. Got my battery terminals there. Got there. Got put the top on the leftover pieces. put it in there I got some straps already ready to go to tie it down thank you hello brother so this is Chuck again uh, I've got the battery attached to the inside now I'm just going to show you this this right here this is a sending unit for this clock um, meter and, and uh, calendar. Uh, this is the inside temperature in the motorhome. This is the temperature that this is sending. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this inside the battery box that's insulated that I uh, created out of the shipping box. And then I can watch this. I'm sitting on my couch watching TV <laughs> so I can see, make sure that uh, the temperatures are correct and I'll show you out here <clears throat> got a mess out here it's been working okay here's what I've done I've taken these straps right here that snap and I screwed them to the wall front and back and then top and bottom and I've, I've used these before they're very strong they won't come loose unless you have a drastic uh, issue I think if this batteries come loose we have other problems so it would probably be the least of my problems but anyway I haven't hooked the, the on and off switch on back up here which will be hooked up here and then I got the negative hooks there to reactivate the OSPM battery. But then I'm gonna drop this down inside of here so it can read the temperature battery. I hope I don't have to get that out there. That may be a little hard to get back out. But uh, um, that'll give me an idea of what's going on and it's somewhat insulated and then I'll have to do some kind of uh, battery wrap heater wrap to keep it from freezing in really cold temperatures or just shut it off I can just shut it off that way I won't get be getting a charge from my solar panels if I just hit that switch there it'll shut everything off of the battery charge charging and uh, discharging so um, that should work um, I'll get this battery hooked up and get back on the road again but I'm not going anywhere. I'm still going to be off the grid for a while. So, all right. Well, uh, thank you for watching. There's a hummingbird right there. Let's see if we can get close to her. There's a little hummingbird. There's a little hummingbird. Yeah. There you go. Little hummingbird. Little hummingbird. Yeah. Took off. I'm going to have to refill it, put some more 
Should be water in there. All right, uh, pretty pleasant day out here other than it's windy. Crazy windy like always. All right, thank you.